Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here. In today's Tumblr tutorial, we are going to be making a very bright and spring themed tumbler. We're going to be using some of the prints and a decal from my collaboration with The Vinyl Cottage. Now both of these prints and the decal were designed by me, so they are a little bit extra special in this collection. They are available individually on the Vinyl Cottage website now if you would like to purchase them. I will have everything linked down below for you if you'd like to check out these prints or any of the other prints from the collection. This is definitely more of a like inspiration type video versus a full tutorial. Nothing that we're going to do in this video is like revolutionary, but I wanted to show you a cute way that you can pair both of these sheets of vinyl and the decal together to make a really cute spring tumbler. Along with links to the prints and the decal, I will have links to everything else I'm using in this video, along with discount codes, of course, and links to all of my social media pages, my Facebook group, and my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. So be sure to check out the description box for all of that info. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let's go! All right, so here are the two patterns in the decal we're going to use in this tumbler design. So first up, we have spring stripes. I wanted to create a set that was super color coordinated and perfect for spring. So we have a coordinating spring floral. Now these are all exactly color matched, so they will all coordinate perfectly. We're going to start out with one half of our tumbler. We're going to do a vertical 50-50 split on our cup. I'm using a 30 ounce skinny tumbler from Craft Haven and I'm going to take my ultimate tumbler tool from Cami Page Boutique and I'm going to use it to draw a straight line on one side of my cup. It doesn't matter where on your cup. We're just going to use this as a starting point for where to place our first line of tape. It's really important obviously that you get this piece of tape straight because this is going to be the guide for placing our vinyl and we want everything to be as lined up and as straight as possible. So I'm going to lay that piece down, bring it around the bottom of the tumbler, and then I'm going to finagle this in my ultimate tumbler tool to line that piece of tape up and draw that straight line again. So I'm gonna put this piece of tape on and then I'm gonna go through and measure each half of my tumbler to ensure that they're even. Now there are a bunch of different techniques that you can use to help you get an even 50-50 split on your cup. I've seen um, you can measure the bottom of your cup and then split it in half. You can measure around the bottom rim of your cup or the edge and split it in half that way. I did that in my last tutorial. Um, or you can use, I've seen Jessica Flynn do this with the lid. It actually has perfect little lines for a 50-50, so you can help use the lid as a guide. There are a ton of ways to do this, so whatever method is easiest for you to get an even half, do that. So now I'm moving into trimming down this floral sheet of vinyl. I'm going to cut away all of those white borders from the vinyl and then I'm going to place one edge of that vinyl up with the edge of my tape and I'm going to cut off all of this excess. So doing it this way you'll have plenty of vinyl to use it for another project. If you want to make two of this same type of tumbler you will definitely have enough vinyl to do that or you can use this to make a completely different design. So I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to cut that in half and then we will get to applying it to this half of our tumbler. To apply the vinyl to my tumbler, I'm going to peel up a little bit of the vinyl from the backing, maybe about an inch or so, and then I'm going to cut that backing away so that we have a thin strip of the vinyl adhesive exposed, and we're going to use that to anchor our vinyl down so that we can ensure we have everything placed properly, straight, and ready to go before we just willy-nilly pull all of the backing off and try to put this on our cup. So the goal here is obviously to apply this with no wrinkles, no bubbles, or anything like that. I like to use a felt edged squeegee for this, so I'm using the big squeege from the Bowen. Literally the best thing ever. My friend Rachel at Soda Cups Boutique got this for me. I got it as a surprise in the mail and it was the best. I use it every single time I apply vinyl now, so amazing. If you don't have one, grab one. So I'm going to, after I've got the vinyl applied, you saw how quick and easy that was, I'm going to cut off the excess from the other edge of the vinyl and then trim off the excess from the top and look how perfect that is. I am so like emotional and happy to have one of my 
own designs like in printed vinyl and to see it on a cup it's just like the coolest thing ever so a huge thank you to april at the vinyl cottage for doing this collaboration with me and giving me this opportunity so now that we've got our vinyl applied to one half of our tumbler we're going to move to the other half so i applied some painters tape to each edge of our floral vinyl and now on the other side of our cup i'm going to place a piece of tape diagonally down this half of our cup. Now the size of your vinyl section and your glitter section obviously are totally up to you. I wanted the glitter section on the top where we're going to put our decal to be just a little bit larger than the stripe section at the bottom. So I just kind of played with that. I'm not measuring. It doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to remove all of the white edges from the vinyl the same way we did with the floral and we're going to cut this in a way that the stripes move along that bottom part of the cup horizontally as you can see here if you want to do them vertically that's fine too or another way whatever you want whatever makes you happy <laughs> so i'm going to line up the straight edge of my vinyl with the straight edge of my tape and i'm going to make two marks on my vinyl i'm going to make one at the very bottom where it meets the tape so i know how far i need to cut and then i'll make another mark up at the top left corner of this area to know like kind of where the angle needs to be or how big this little triangle that we're going to cut needs to be. Now I ended up adjusting this a little bit, making this a little bit larger. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. We're just going to fill in any remaining space with glitter. So you don't need to be super precise or anything with your measurements or your cutting. So as you can see, this piece of vinyl that I cut does not really match up with the angle that I placed my tape, but that's totally okay. I'm just going to remove that tape. It was just a guide anyway, and we're going to get this vinyl laid down. So I'm going to take that straight edge of the vinyl again, and I'm going to tape it in place. I'm just leaving the edge of the vinyl and the edge of the tape meeting up. I'm not leaving any overlap because I don't want to have to cut off the excess from both sides. So I'm just going to tape those in place, make sure everything looks right to me on each side, and then I'll remove the tape from the smaller end and then smooth the vinyl onto my tumbler the same way that I would with a large piece. So I'm going to cut away a little bit of the backing, lay that down first, make sure we don't have any wrinkles, and then I'll use my squeegee to push the rest of this piece of vinyl onto the cup. You want to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles down at the bottom edge of your tumbler. I just pushed all of those out with my squeegee and then I'm going to cut off the excess from the other side of our vinyl. And then to remove that little Sharpie mark, I just took a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a dish towel and it comes right off. So no biggie. And now we've got that on. We're going to move to the top half of this side. We're going to tape off this top edge of our vinyl so that we can base paint and glitter this top portion. I'm using my favorite acrylic paint as a base here. This is the Delta Ceram Coat acrylic paint in the color Lisa Pink. It's the perfect pink color. So I'm going to put a really hefty coat of this paint on my tumbler. I want to make sure I have the best coverage possible. And I'm also using a little bit of extra paint because I'm using the paint as my adhesive for my glitter. The glitter we're using here is Lassie from Peachy Olive Glitters. One of my absolute top favorites. It's a perfect pink. I love it so much. So I'm going to cover the entire top half of our cup with this glitter and then I'm going to let this sit and dry for about an hour before I go in and remove all of my tape. And after all of my tape is removed, I'm going to go in and seal my glitter section. I like to seal with a 50-50 mix of the Crystalac glitter glue and just plain old tap water. So I'm going to do that, let that dry for a full two hours, and then we'll go in with one coat of epoxy. I'm using the Flynn Sisters Premium Epoxy for this project, and my coat was about 30 milliliters. Now we're only doing one coat of epoxy because before we get too crazy into our epoxy coating i want to go ahead and take care of the bottom of our tumbler so that we can have everything kind of on the same track and do all of our sanding and everything at the same time so i'm going to take some electrical tape and i'm going to tap it on my fingers as you can see there to get rid of just a little bit of the stickiness um, i don't want to pull up any of the epoxy from my vinyl so that's why i do that 
and I'm going to just place this tape using the bottom edges of my vinyl wrap as a guide for where to place it and we are going to do a really fun little pop of yellow on the bottom of our tumbler. Now I tried to use another acrylic paint and I didn't like it. It was the same brand but for some reason it was awful so I moved into a different color um, after that dried. So this is a light yellow and I mixed it with a little bit of the Crystal Act glitter glue. I'm going to give that a really good coat on the bottom and then we're going to take St. Jude from Peachy Olive Glitters and cover the bottom of the tumbler with this little fun pop of yellow. Immediately after glittering, I'm going to remove that tape, let my cup sit and dry for two hours, and then I'm going to go in again and seal this section of glitter with the same 50-50 mix of glitter glue and water. And then I'm going to add another two coats of epoxy. These coats were about 20 to 25 milliliters a piece. And once that second coat was cured, or I guess technically the third coat, I'm ready to go in and do all of my sanding. So I'm going to use a 120 grit sanding block, and I'm really going to focus on the top rim the edges where our two sides of our cup meet and that bottom rim. So we should be pretty much totally smooth. You don't have to be perfectly smooth. You just want to be smooth enough that you're not going to see any bumps underneath your vinyl striping. For my vinyl striping, of course, I'm using my favorite vinyl. This is the Champagne Gold Textured Metallic Vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. And I cut these stripes at 0.13 inches wide. And I'm going to place one on either side of the cup and then one diagonally on the border of our striped vinyl and our glitter. I'm going to seal my vinyl with some polycrylic and then I'm going to add another very thin coat of epoxy to my tumbler. I think it was about 10 to 15 milliliters and I'm doing that because the decal we're using has a clear backing and you don't want to put clear backing onto a rough sanded dull surface because those will not shine back up once you add epoxy over them. So anywhere on your decal that has like a clear section, if you left your surface sanded, you would see those dull scratchy marks underneath that. So I don't want that. So I added another coat of epoxy and now I'm going in and adding this decal. This has the same flowers from the floral pattern vinyl and it says, keep going, keep growing, which is a quote that I really like. So I'm going to place that into this pink glittered section, making sure that it's as centered as can be. I've taped one edge down of the decal, as you can see there, and I'm going to essentially use the hinge method to apply this. So I cut away a little bit of the backing, laid that down, and I'm just going to push the rest of the backing away with my little squeegee here. These decals from the Vinyl Cottage pop so well on any color background and all of the clear area around the decal is going to completely disappear under epoxy. You won't be able to see any of that. So once I had the decal on, I added my final coat of epoxy. I just did one and we are all finished. So here is the final tumbler design. As you can see, no lines anywhere around that decal. I am so happy with how this turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are loving the prints and decals from this collection. If you use anything from this collab, please be sure to tag me in your photos at Made by Manny and Mal. I just really want to see what you guys do with all of these prints and decals. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye.